Hi and welcome to Autodesk for Inventor 2013. For this tutorial we're going to be making a sheet so we can print out a nice dimension picture of this tire and wheel. To start off let's go new and we're going to pick a standard IDW file. We looked before at the standard IPT, then the standard IAM, and now the IDW. Just to re summarize, we've got the IPT which is for making a part the IAM which is for making an assembly and now the IDW which is for making a drawing. So I click on that and that brings up my IDW file, my drawing file. And you can see I've got a title block and a border. Now by default we get a C size sheet in AutoCAD. Sorry, not AutoCAD, Inventor. We don't want that because we're just going to be printing on the small printer. We only want 8.5 by 11. So I'm going to come over here to my model bar, right click, and delete sheet 1. Click OK. Now I've got a blank canvas. I hit the plus beside drawing resources, plus beside borders and title blocks. I want ANSI A title block and I want a border. So there, now I've got a proper ANSI sheet laid out. So we need to make a base view of our part. If I click on base view, and there I've got the assembly pulled up there. 1 16th view. I could go to a quarter view, mix that a little bigger, but less room for dimensions. Go to half view, way too big. Then we go to 4 to 1. Lots of different views we could do. Let's go to a quarter inch view. And we can see the tire on the side there. Now, we've kind of got a side view here, so let's take a look at some of the other options. We have bottom, there we go, the right view. That looks better. So I'm going to click on OK. And OK. I have to save my assembly. It's thinking. And there's my view. By default, it's trying to make me do my side view right now. But I'm just going to hit Escape and move this around to get it where I want it. Let's put it up in the top corner. This is a little big for the page. I probably should have went for the 16th view. But now I can go projected. I can project a view down or to the side and I can do a section as well. So I'll project that. Right click create. So there's my side view. And let's do a section drawing. So I click on section. Now a section drawing shows us a cut, cut away through our part. I'm going to zoom in for my section, just to make sure I got the right there we go. Mouse over the middle, I'm not clicking yet, just moving up to get that dotted line. I'm going to come straight through the middle, right click, continue, and again quarter scale showing up there. And several things. I'm just going to move over and click. And there's my section drawing. It's a little it's not very neat in here, so let's just click on that. We can drag that right over so we've got more space. And we can drive that over so we have some more space. And you can see there's our tire. We've got a hatch pattern showing us the tire, a separate hatch pattern showing us the inside of the wheel. Just imagine that we've cut it across on this point. Now our arrows, we could move this up a little bit. Move the A. Just make it a little cleaner. Or A. So it's a little neater view there. So that's the basics on doing the section in our projected view. Now we can go and start doing some annotation. So I click on annotation at the top here. I've got dimensions, baseline dimensions, text and leaders, holes and threads, lots of different options. Let's just start with dimensions. Now I can dimension each diameter. So let's just go, there's our outside diameter. Okay. Okay. So there's outside of our tire, outside of our rim. That's the inside of our rim. We'll need make these a little neater. Oh, don't want that dimension general dimension again. Oh, 
I've got all of our dimensions on the wheel. We can start. We can take these as well. I don't want that to happen anymore. So let's hit escape to get a dimension. We can drag them out. Make them even. You always want to have a very nice, neat drawing when we're working with any sort of drafting. Move these out nice and even. So we've got our diameters all the way down so we can see what the different sizes are. The only dimension we're missing is the size of the wheel. I'm going to put that in. It's four inches. You can see it snaps in place. Okay. And let's add that radius as well. Uh, like that. Let's go. Dimension one more time. There we go. Radius. Move it around the top. And there's the radius of that arc. So we can see, just based off everything here, all of our dimensions, and we can see what the inside looks like. That's good. The next step is to start putting some information in our title block. So let's just zoom in on the title block. So right now we've got no info here. In order to get some information there, we're going to click on the I, and we're going to go to I Properties. That brings up this dialog box. We're going to summary. And let's give it a name. We'll say wheel assembly. Our subject is drafting level one. Mine says author Burroughs because that's the account that I'm in. Not too worried about the manager. Our company, well, that's Enver Creek. Category, no, that's okay. So let's see what else we have here. So we can start adding in revision number. Well, it's revision zero. There hasn't been any revisions yet. Project, drafting. We don't really have an engineer. No authority, no cost. So everything here is not really that important, at least for this drawing. But there are some other options there. So let's click Apply and Close. And now, there we go. There's our name, our, and our information is inside of our title block. This is now ready for printing. So File, Print, or just hand it into your instructor like that. Anytime that we're going to be making something from Inventor, we're going to need to have this sheet laid out.